The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? Welcome back. We are live from the Arkansas PBS studios in Conway. It's Quiz Bowl 2023. This is our fourth match of the day, and we are going to find out who will be our 3A Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Quiz Bowl, here's a refresher on the rules of Quiz Bowl. A quiz bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each and if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20-point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Hey. Round four is back to 20 toss-up questions. And now let's meet the teams for our 3A Conference Championship match between the Mountain View Yellow Jackets and Haas Hall Fayetteville. Hi, I'm Claire Bishop. I'm a senior and I have a cold. Hi, I'm Red Avey. I'm a senior and I'm the best man the sidelines has ever known. I'm a sophomore. My name is Austin McDonald and I'm loving it. My name is Arden Nandaraj. I'm a freshman and you're watching Disney Channel. Hi, I'm Evan Folks. I'm a sophomore and I'd like to wish Haas all good luck because they're going to need it. Hi, my name is Riley Hart. I'm a sophomore and I've drank half a gallon of coffee this morning. Hi, my name is Justice Hines. I'm a junior and I haven't slept in 26 hours. <laughs> Hi, my name is Trent Wickham. I'm a junior and I have slept in the last 26 hours. Hi, my name is Devin Lubner. I'm a junior and uh... Hi, Mom! <laughs> Hi, my name is Sahara Goodwin. I'm a freshman at Mount View, Arkansas and my favorite color is green. Hi, I'm Delana Sutterfield, the assistant coach for Mountain View and I have the world's best stepson. Hi, Silas! I'm head coach Alan Bishop and parents and doctors, not politicians. My name is Parker Isaacs, I'm a senior and I'm starting to think I joined the wrong bowling team. I'm still on Peru this side, I'm a senior, the first swag Kazakage, leader of the Hidden Village of the Dam. I'm Eric Wilkins, I'm a senior at Haas Hall Fayetteville, where are the bowling balls? I'm Alex Ward, I'm a senior at Haas Hall Fayetteville, and I'm getting a perfect 300. My name's Henry Solansky, I'm a senior at Haas Hall Fayetteville, and we gonna cook. Hello, I'm Philip Wu, I'm a senior at Haas Hall Fayetteville, and thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I'm Hey Molly, I'm a junior, and go Mastiffs. My name is Joven, I'm a junior, and we're gonna get that victory royale today. Uh, my name is Joshua Ofdahl, I'm a junior, and go Mastiffs. Hi, my name is Tyler Johnson. I am a freshman and I dedicate this game to Adrian. My name is Eric Suarez, I'm a junior, and why does it smell like pizza in here? My name is Ethan Walker, I'm a junior, and this is Disney Channel. My name is Jade Pham, I'm a junior, and I wrestle grizzly bears for fun. Austin Bain, definitely the head coach. I'm Isaac Rippelmeyer, I'm the head coach. Don't listen to the other guy, he's crazy. Okay, so first of all, this is quiz bowl and not bowling. Want to be sure that that's uh, yes, very clear. That's right. We're Arkansas PBS, not the Disney Channel. Okay, so Bill Davis is our quiz bowl expert. So here we are in 3A. What can we expect from these two teams? I, I, I'm going to tell you, both these teams are have a rich history in quiz bowl. I, I'll tell you what my age is by saying <laughs> this, but I remember when Haas Hall came here and their total student body was less than 20. Wow. And they showed up here. It was oh. their first year to come. <laughs> 
and I was just amazed at the quality. I will be amazed again. Let me tell you a little bit about Mountain View. I don't live very far from Mountain View, and when they first showed up, everybody thought, well, okay, this is kind of a flash. They'll be here one or two times, and then you won't see them. <laughs> They have been here consistently for several years now, and they've got a program going. Coach Bishop is really doing a great job. Well, we no doubt have a great match in store for us, so thank you so much, and let's turn it over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson, and find out who will be the 3A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Round one. Well, welcome Mountain View and Haas Hall. We're glad that you all are here today. And uh, we got right in front of me two trophies, one a little bit bigger than the other one for first place, and the other one's uh, second place. And uh, you're playing for those two trophies. And so that's pretty exciting for you. And as the prompter reminded us, it is round one. So hands on our buzzers, and uh, let's jump right in. In February of 1956, this Soviet leader gave what is popularly uh, Eric. Khrushchev. Khrushchev is right, Eric. Uh, the original use of this term used by colonies was to express the ideal. Eric. Red coats. No. The idea that the people formed themselves into a free, sovereign, and independent body politic. Identify this term used today by Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Clare. Commonwealth. Commonwealth was the answer we needed. All right. One of the most iconic album covers in the history of recorded music features four men crossing a London. Tyler. Abbey Street. No. Uh, identify this Beatles album that sparked... Uh, Trent. Abbey Road. Abbey Road is the name of it. That's right. All right. On August 15th, 1914, the, this passage was inaugurated by the U.S. vessel Ancon, a cargo and passenger ship. Identify this 10 mile wide passage secured <laughs> by the uh, Claire. The Panama Canal. You're right. All right, uh, judges, we're going to replace this math question with another one. All right, here we go. The equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 6y plus 25 equals zero represents which plane figure? Austin. A circle. A circle is exactly what we were looking for. Good job. All right, question number six. His translations of the Old and New Testament were the first to complete, uh, were the first complete English versions published by the printing press and the first to use original Hebrew and Greek sources rather than the Vulgate. Name this man whose translations were the main source. Eric. King James. No. Main source for the King James Version of the Bible. Uh, Trent. Tyndale. Tyndale is right. All right. Number seven, related to the art of growing ornamental, artificially dwarfed trees. Uh, Claire. Bonsai. Banzai. That's right. What type of number can be written as the sum or difference of a real number and an imaginary? Tyler. Complex number. That is absolutely right. All right. What is the name for the tail like structure at the base of the brain that connects the brain to the spinal cord? Uh, Claire. The brain stem? No. And is it Parker? Basal ganglia? No, I needed medulla oblongata. Yeah, math computation. All right, what is the second derivative of 6x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2? Mm. 
Philip. Uh, Say it for me again. 32x plus 10. No. Claire. 36x plus 10. That's what I have. All right, question number 11. So we're halfway through the uh, first round. What is the name for the input technology that facilitates typing on a device? Uh, Tyler. Keyboard. No. Uh, typing on a device by suggesting words the user may want to insert based on the context of other words in the message and the first letters typed. Claire. Autocomplete. I have predictive text. Predictive text. Predictive text. This work, considered by many to be Ludwig van Beethoven's greatest, was written when the composer was almost deaf and is the final movement of the Ninth Symphony. Identify this work that became the official anthem of the European community in 1985. Claire. Ode to Joy. Ode to Joy is right. Question 13. On April 2nd, 2023, tennis legends Andre Agassi and Andy Roddick defeated John McEnroe and Michael Chang in a tournament in this sport that is similar, Eric. Tennis. No, that is similar to tennis that aired live on ESPN. Uh, Austin. Pickleball. Pickleball, that's exactly right. All right. Poet William Wordsworth says of this poem subject, in sleep, she sometimes walks abroad, deep sighs with quick words blending. Identify this poem's title, which comes from the French word meaning to sleepwalk. Uh, okay, Austin. Je dormido. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> Answer over here, also. Parker. Nightwalker. No, it is the somnim somnimobust. Yes. I can't say it, but I know what it is. All right, we're going to do science comp uh, computation. You don't see that very often, but we do have science computation. Find the mass of one mole of ethanol or C2H6O. Round to the nearest whole number. Parker. 52 grams. No. Mountain View. Austin. 50 grams. The answer is 46 grams per mole. All right. Founded by 332, pardon me, founded in 332 BCE, this city on the Mediterranean served as the capital of Egypt from its founding to 642 CE when it was conquered by Arab forces. Identify this city that was once home to the Museon and Eric. Alexandria. You're right. Math computation. What is the surface area of a rectangular prism whose length is 1.5 inches, height is 16 inches, and width is 4 inches? Austin. 188 square inches. Austin, I don't know how you did that, but you're right. All right. <clears throat> In this case decided by the U.S. Supreme Court, the runner-up in the presidential election requested that, floor, that for, uh, Claire. Bush versus Gore? Yes. The old hanging chads year. 
What is the term for a phrase that expresses a simple truth in a few words, such as, Philip? Aphorism. No. A penny saved is a penny earned. Claire. Adage. Adage is what we have. All right, the U.S. Post Office will ship a standard-sized rectangular envelope of up to 3.5 ounces for a flat rate via their first-class service. As of January of this year, what is the cost of a first, uh, Parker? 86 cents. No, of a first-class stamp. Austin. 55 cents? No, I hear they're about to go up to 66, but it's 63, 63 right now. And that was the last question of the match, and what we have so far is Mountain View with a 120 and Hasshoff Eva with 30. Do we going to have any challenges? No challenges here? We do have challenges over here from Mountain View, so we're going to take a break to Christina. Okay, thank you, Steve. Like we said, we have a little bit of housekeeping to take care of, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. It is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Join us for an in-depth conversation about the documentary with directors Ken Burns, Lynn Novick, and Sarah Botstein. I always sang. When I got into the camp, that's what saved my life. There are millions upon millions of Jews. Well, there can't be Jews in the German Garden of Eden. Only on Arkansas PBS. Arkansas PBS offers the inspiration you need to do it yourself with a wide variety of programs to satisfy the innovator in you. From sewing to gardening to home improvement and cooking, we have everything to fulfill your DIY needs. Tune in every Saturday for your fix of DIY programs only on Arkansas PBS. Without that program, it really helped me advance my opportunity to this career field. It really gives them a, a fast forward, a, a good track to be able to come into the technical trades. To celebrate the first of five brand new transmitters that will broaden our signal coverage to just under 100% of Arkansas. We are committed to helping the youngest Arkansans prepare for kindergarten and for life. Education is everything, and if we can teach our children you know, to get out there and make the most of that, that's great, so I'm just proud to do my part.
This is the first step to reforming our Arkansas, taking the effort to understanding each other's struggles and making them our own. Everyone repeat after me. We have a voice. Could not reach our souls. Paul. Now this is where the magic happens. Welcome back to the state championships of Quiz Bowl 2023. When we left you, we did have a challenge. We have been speculating uh, what that challenge has been about, but I have Judge Rick Klo here to explain it and tell us what happened. All right, so the Mountain View coach challenged on the question. We had the answer, predictive text, and we have researched it, and the answer that was given, autocomplete, seems to be the same and would also fit that question. So okay. we are accepting the answer autocomplete and will award 10 points to Mountain View. Okay, well thank you very much and thank you for your time as a judge. It is a volunteer job for sure, so we thank you very much for explaining that to us. And for now we send it back over to the quiz master for more. All right, well, welcome back, and we've got uh, Mountain View now a little uh, a bit more with 10 more points, 130 to 30. And uh, that takes us into uh, the second round uh, with toss-up and bonus. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. So, Han, you're going to be the captain here for House Hall, and Claire, you're still the captain for Mountain View. All right, so here we go with the first toss-up question, and uh, we'll see who gets the first bonus. Exiled from Lantern Yard, where he is framed for theft, he loses his friends, his faith, his fiance, and moves to the farming community of Ravelo. To live, a, to live a hermit-like existence in an isolated cottage. Name this man the title or character in the 1861 novel by George Eliot. Claire. Adam Beatty? No. Us Hall? Eric. Napoleon? No, it is Silas Marner. Silas Marner. 
All right, uh, math computation for the next question. In terms of pi, what is the volume of a cone whose height is four feet and whose base has a diameter of six feet? Uh, Philip. Um, 48 pi. No. Austin. 12 cubic pi feet. Yes. All right, uh, good job, Austin. You've earned your team a bonus. Uh, the very first one is called transformations. Uh, and um, I guess these are computational judges. Uh, using the parent function y equals x squared, given a transformation, tell the new function. Translation up to y equals x squared plus 2. Should be, yeah. Y, y equals x squared plus 2? Yes. And the judges are telling me we are, we're giving you five seconds and not 20 on this. Yes. Okay. Uh, reflection across the x-axis. Answer? Uh, y equals negative x squared. You're right. Translation, right, three. Or y equals the quantity x minus three squared. Y equals the quantity x minus three squared. Yes. All right, and reflection across the y-axis. Answer, please. Yeah. Y equals negative quantity x squared? I do not have the negative. I have y equals x squared. Y equals x squared. All right, so three out of the four, though. So that's good. All right, teams, uh, both hands on the, all the hands on the buzzers as we try to get this next bonus. Angiosperms are often grouped according to the number of their seed leaves the strength and composition of their stems, and the number of growing seasons they live. What is the name for those flowering plants with two... Uh, Trent. Dicot. Dicot is right. All right, and you've earned a bonus for your team called uh, Literary Devices. All right. Given these uh, sentences and samples from literature, identify the literary device. This place is like a Garden of Eden. Yes, could have also accepted an illusion. All right, I'm not broke, I just have a negative cash flow. Uh, that would be a positive. A, a positive or a, a positive or contrapositive? Answer please. Contrapositive? No. The gushing brook stole its way down the lush green mountain. Gotta be personification. Personification? Uh, no. I remember because I have photogenic memory. Metaphoric. Metaphor? No. That is a malapropism. Oh, malapropism. And uh, the uh, I'm not broke, I just have a negative cash flow is a euphemism. And then the gushing brook stole its way is imagery, strong imagery. All right, but you got uh, 15 points out of that deal. <clears throat> All right, let's see which team can get this next bonus with this toss-up question. This Northern European country developed a written language of runes and, Eric. Norway. No and experienced a 250-year period of Viking rule before becoming part of the Kalmar Union with Norway and Sweden under Queen Margaret. Identify this country on the Jutland Peninsula with capital Claire. Denmark. Denmark is correct. I would have said capital at Copenhagen. 
All right, uh, you've earned a bonus that's called the end in the beginning. Identify each of the following words that begin with the letters E-N-D. All right, here we go. The last stage of a strategic process or the final Avengers movie. End game. Yes. A procedure used in medicine in which an instrument is introduced into the body to give a view of its internal parts. Endoscopy? Yes. To declare public support or approval or to sign the back of a check. Endorse? Yes. And to give or furnish an income or property. No answer? Pass. Endow. 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 All right, but you got three others, so you got 25 points out of that deal. All right, we have one bonus remaining, and let's see if we can get it here with question number 25. What mood in English used for expressing wishes, proposals, and suggestions? Eric. Subjunctive. Subjunctive gets you a bonus. Good job. And your bonus is called Rome's Enemies. Rome's enemies. Identify each of the following enemies of either the Roman Republic or the Roman Empire based on the description. Okay. Native Celtic tribe led by Queen, Queen Bodica that revolted against Rome in 60-61 CE Britain. The Iceni, I think. Iceni. Defer yeah. Eric. I sent you. Yes. Uh, in 451 CE, the Romans handed this leader of the Huns his first Attila. and only military Attila. defeat. Attila? Yes. Led by King uh, Alaric, this group sacked Rome in 410 CE. The Lombards. Visigoths. The Lombards. Lombards? No. Wait, what? Should have gone with the guy Visigoths. saying Visigoths. <laughs> All right, uh, husband of Cleopatra the seventh of Egypt, who lost the Battle of Actium to Octavian. Mark Antony. Mark Antony. Yes. All right, so you got three out of the four. Good job. Twenty-five points, and you have led us out of round two. So let's look at our score. Mountain View with a 195 and Haas Hall with a 55. Do we have any uh, challenges? No? We're correcting the score. All right, uh, while we're figuring out this score, I'm going to toss the uh, program back to Christina. Okay, and, and I have a special guest with us here now while they try to figure out that scoring confusion. I'm joined by Carolyn Shry with the Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. So Carolyn, we're waiting to figure out a little bit of confusion on a scoring issue and if there are any other challenges, of course. Uh, but we also wanted to uh, ask you a little bit about the association itself because you guys do a lot. A lot of people may not know all that you do. What all does the association do for students? Well, we, uh, of course, try to get any of the schools to come in, all the levels, and we work hard not just at this time of year, but throughout the year. We have several camps, both for junior high and senior high students, where we try to teach them some strategies, tactics, things that may help them in playing the game. And hopefully some of those things they won't have already run into elsewhere. Uh, we also have... Uh, Oh, we have a, you know, a lot of just back and forth things with the coaches, with the students. You know, all of them email me all, all the time, you know. <laughs> I get tons of emails. Uh, there's just lots going on throughout the year. And this is the culminating event at the end of the year. Along with, we have also a student uh, all-star tournament next weekend. Oh, wow. And that recognizes some of the best students that have achieved, you know, throughout the year. And we sometimes have as close to 100 of the junior high students attend. Wow. 
and sometimes that many in senior high as well. It all depends on the date we choose, how many are free and available and can sure. So yeah, that's kind of how that goes, and we love doing it. So Wonderful. yeah. Well, we appreciate it very much, and we know so much is on a volunteer basis, especially oh. with the judges and everybody that it takes <clears throat> to put something like this on. And the board. Nine and the time. board, yes. Yeah, the board's a lot of entirely. time. Uh, that they have put toward this. So thank, thank you. you very much. Yes. And we now are going to send it back over to the quiz master. Back to you, Steve. Well, welcome back here to the uh, studio here at Arkansas PBS. Uh, we've been proud partners with them for 38 years. And uh, so uh, this, is, this is another great year and a great uh, group that's uh, up here in front of me. Uh, we did adjust the score a little bit during the break because I did not hear an extra syllable that uh, Mountain View put in the answer. So now they're at 190 instead of 195. And Haas Hall is at 55. So that means, here's the good news, Sohan, you get to pick first on the three categories. And uh, let me give those to you, and then we'll give you uh, time to choose and time to make your substitutions. All right, here we go. You might choose the Roaring Twenties, not these Twenties. From a brief description, identify the following people, terms, and items from the 1920s in the U.S. You might want short stories, given the title of a famous short story from American literature. Identify the author of the story. Or we could choose polyatomic ions. Given a chemical formula, give the name of the polyatomic ion it represents. All right, now we're going to take a break while y'all pick your category and make your subs. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. This month on Arkansas PBS. Gratitude does not extend to the acceptance of assault. Sister, will you please just forget I said anything? She requires nothing less than a miracle. I barely know her. I question whether she's even my mother at all or a fortune hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a boy from nowhere. Tom! Tom, Tom Jones. And a girl from the other side of the world. Sophie! Only on Arkansas PBS. My name is Al Lopez, Papa Rap in the house. I live in Northwest Arkansas via Puerto Rico. Been here since 1994. 
desde el 94. And really, Arkansas PBS is the one that has taught me about this great community that we have here. Wonderful, beautiful, so much programming, tanta programación for children, for grown-ups, porque es el canal de Arkansas. This is a real Arkansas channel. This month in Passport on the PBS video app. I sit down with a diverse group of veterans to learn more about their experiences before, during, and after action. Is adventure racing the thing where you make life much harder than it needs to be? Always. <laughs> These and other shows from Arkansas PBS are available with Passport on the PBS video app. The son of a slave, Scipio Africanus Jones became a leading African-American defense attorney and activist who focused on civil rights and criminal defense advocacy. A graduate of Bethel Institute, now Shorter College in North Little Rock, Jones passed the bar in 1899 and was admitted to present cases at the Arkansas Supreme Court in 1900. He became the first African-American to appear on a regular basis before the state's court. Between 1913 and 1925, he disputed cases before the United States Supreme Court. The most significant case was his role defending 12 black men tried for mass murder during the Elaine Massacre in 1919. Though the defendants were convicted and sentenced to death, Jones appealed the case to the U.S. Supreme Court and in 1925, all of the defendants were released. Alongside Thurgood Marshall, Jones tried his final case, which was won after his death in March 1943. A high school in North Little Rock was named in his honor and existed from 1928 until its closing in 1970. A life-sized portrait can be viewed in the U.S. Post Office at 1700 Main Street in Little Rock that now bears his name. Scipio Africanus Jones, lawyer, activist, trailblazer. For the lightning round, the teams have made their choices. So now let's turn it over to our quiz master change for round three. No. All right, uh, welcome back. The judges were just conferring with me, making sure that House Hall had made any subs that they needed to make uh, with the new category. And it looks like we're going to be fine with them. Okay, uh, and uh, Huss Hall has brought in some new folks. Joshua's in, Parker's back, uh, Jade is in, and Phillip's in. So it's good to have you all, all playing here for Huss Hall. And over here from Mountain View, Justice is in for uh, the Mountain View uh, Yellow Jackets. So it's good to have you all. All right, well, we're going to start with Huss Hall's selection of... Uh, the Roaring Twenties, and then the uh, we'll go to Mountain Views uh, short story category. All right, here we go, Parker. From a brief description, identify the following people, terms, and items from the 1920s in the U.S. You ready? Okay. Women's Suffrage Amendment. 19th Amendment. Yes, in June 1922, he became the first president to be heard on the radio. Harding. Harding. Yes. Uh, government scandal of leasing government led scandal. to a private... Defer to Eric. Eric. Teapot Dome scandal. Say it one more time. Teapot Dome. Yes. From May 31 to June 1, 1921, a white mob attacked residents' houses and businesses in this Oklahoma City. Tulsa. Yes. Um, court case in Dayton, Tennessee involving the teaching of evolution. Skip. Author who chron chronicled the hedonism of the 20s in The Great Gatsby. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, first motion picture was sound, debuted in October of 27. Uh, the Sound of the Wind. 
No, affordable popular cars sold by the Ford Motor Company. All right, that one did not pass over because y'all didn't give an answer. All right, uh, Claire, they've got a few uh, to pass over to y'all. Well, two that I know of. And the first one is court case in Dayton, Tennessee involving the teaching of evolution. Scopes trial? Yes. And uh, the first motion picture with sound debuted in October of 27. The jazz singer? That is absolutely right. All right. And the one I was reading when the time ran out was the Model T. The Model T. All right, now we're going to go to Mountain View and uh, their short story category and see how many of those. These are shorter than the Roaring Twenties one. Given the title of a famous short story from American literature, identify the author of the story. Are you ready? All right. The Yellow Wallpaper. Yellow wallpaper is uh, we read this year, but I can't remember. Pass. The celebrated jumping frog of Calvaris County. Twain. Yes. The legend of Sleepy Hollow. Irving. Yes. The Telltale Heart. Poe. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Pass. Uh, currents at Owl Creek Bridge. Bierce. Yes. The Lady of the Tiger. Chambers. No. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Thurber. Yes. Bartleby, the Scrivener. Melville. Yes. The Lottery. Uh, Jackson. Yes. Uh, so I got uh, three to pass over, judges? Sorry. Okay. Uh, Parky, you can pick up 30 more points here if you know these uh, short story authors. The first one is The Yellow Wallpaper. Smith. Smith. No. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Smith. No. And uh, the lady or the tiger? Smith. <laughs> Smith. No. Uh, the yellow wallpaper was uh, Charlotte. Yes, it is. Very good. A little late, but good. Uh, thank you, ma'am was Langston Hughes. And uh, the Lady of the Tiger is Frank Stockton. Frank Stockton. All right, the good news is that takes us out of round three with the score for Mountain View of 280 and Haas Hall 105. Do we have any challenges? No challenges? All right. So we're going to go to Christina. All right, thank you, Steve. It's been fun to watch and a great, another round entertaining. There's another one left to go, so stay with us. We'll be right back. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck. Question is, did she fall? Or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. The shootings are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Mexico is my heart. The United States is now my home. And in the space between is La Frontera. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens. Culture shock isn't a bad thing. It's the growing pains of a broadening perspective. Come grow with us. Only on Arkansas PBS.
And we are back and ready for the final round. Let's head over to Steve Patterson, the quiz master. Well, welcome back. Our uh, score, 282-105. And of course, what we have is uh, several substitutions. We have Audie and um, y'all have all been in. But down here, we've got Henry back with us and uh, Alex and uh, so Han is back, and Eric, you've never left. <laughs> okay, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to begin round four. Round four. All right, hands on our buzzers, here we go. In Babylonian mythology, he was the patron god of Babylon and the king of the gods who presided over justice, compassion, and healing magic and fairness. Name this god whose ziggurat in Babylon was probably the model for the biblical tower of Babel. Uh, Claire. Marduk. Marduk is right. Presented as a villain and a hunchback in a play by William Shakespeare. Uh, Claire. Richard III. You're right. Math computation. All right, what is the solution to the system of equations 3x plus 4y equals 8 and y equals x plus 2? Alex. x equals 0. No. Uh, Austin x equals 0 and y equals 2. That's correct. All right. Uh, briefly, the tallest building in the world from November of 1929 to April of 1931, this Art Deco structure in Manhattan. Uh, Trent. Chrysler building. Say it again. The Chrysler building. That is correct. All right, which metallic element is associated most closely with the use of the adjective auric, A-U-R-I-C? Eric. Gold. Gold is correct. All right, we've had a timeout call, so we're going to pause here for the timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. See now, yes. I think it's from Mountain View, and it's yeah. for the same reason. He realizes the game is about over, so he's going to play all of them. I've noticed something that you don't see a lot of, okay. and and Mountain View's taking advantage of this. Sure, he's been putting in a lot of players, and that keeps his program strong. If you wind up playing, this would be true of any sport. If you wind up playing just five, right, and that's all you play. Then the rest of them, at one point, you're gonna, you're not going to be, they're not going to be ready. You got to raise up the next generation. Exactly, <laughs> and I see that uh, Coach Bishop is doing this. He's putting them in there so they can get used to holding on to that buzzer, listening. Yes. Listening skills are learned, and being able to listen is a, an acquired. Talent. And being able to perform in an intense atmosphere because yeah. you might be watching and go, that's easy. Well, when you're here, it all changes a little bit of the feeling of what sure that's does. like. So, okay, the timeout has been completed, so we head back over to the quiz master. Well, welcome back. We have uh, used that timeout to make some changes in uh, who's playing. And so we still have uh, Audi, but we have Sahara in and we have Devin in. And uh, we're keeping Riley and Claire. And uh, over here, did we make some? No, not yet. Okay. All right, well, let's go on with our game then with toss up number 36. What group on the periodic table is formed by combining group one katons or cations and group seven anions? Alex. Noble gases? No. Claire. Group two? 
I have alkali halides. Alkali halides. All right, uh, rewarded number 37 a little, uh, judges. <clears throat> Which term is defined as a statistical measure that expresses the extent to which two variables are correlated? Parker. Correlation. Yes. In an 1890 novel, this handsome young man is painted by his friend, uh, Claire. Dorian Gray. You're right. Uh, this 20th century American painter and illustrator popularized an art style called exaggerated realism, which featured uh, real looking people and situations, but with a bit of a caricature. Identify this artist who created works of everyday life for the Saturday evening. Claire. Rockwell? Rockwell is correct. Uh, in biology, this is the ability to maintain internal stability. Uh, Claire. Homeostasis? Right. Number 41, halfway through the round. Eight players on this Major League uh, Baseball team agreed to throw the 1919 Claire. The Chicago White Sox? Yes. Identify the indirect object in the following sentence. Mrs. Alvarez baked her class cupcakes for Valentine's Day. Alex. Her class? Yes. Math computation. <clears throat> Giving your answer in the form of y equals ax plus b, what is the inverse of the function y equals 3x plus 21? Uh, Sohan. Y equals negative one third x plus seven. No. Riley. Y equals negative three x minus 21. No, I had exactly what Sohan said, except I have the negatives and positives in different places. I have Y equals one third x minus seven. All right, what is the name for the political scandal that divided the Third French Republic from 18... Uh, Claire. The Dreyfus Affair. You're right. All right, going into question number 44. In her poem, A Red, Red Rose, the poet writes in a combination of English and Scots in lines such as, so fair, Art thou my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I. Name this Scottish poet who incorporated both. Uh, Claire. Burns? Burns. Always the Scottish poet to answer. All right, what is the name for the diamond-shaped space behind the knee joint that is formed between the muscles in the posterior compartments of the thigh and leg? Uh, Sohan. Patellar cavity. No. No answers. The answer is the pop, pop lethal fossa. After starring as Lieutenant Naola Uhara in the TV series Star Trek, African American <laughs> actress Claire. Sorry. <laughs> They shouldn't have left there. Uh, Nicole Nichols wanted to quit to become more involved in the civil rights movement. Which civil rights leader convinced her to stay, telling her she was marching by reflecting what they were fighting for? Eric. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Written by Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and John... Uh, Claire. The Federalist Papers. You're right. Question number 48 is math computation. 
Convert 36 degrees to radians. Uh, Parker, you got in just in time. Nine fifteenths radians. No. Do you have an answer over here, Mountain View? <coughs> All right, uh, Audie. Four radians. Pi over five is the correct answer. All right, weighing uh, from 800 to 1,300 pounds and standing from six to nine feet tall, these mammals are the largest carnivorous predators on Earth. <coughs> Um, Audi. Polar bears. Polar bears is right. Good job. Uh, and question number 50. What 2009 Seth Graham Smith work is a parody novel combining a Jane Austen classic and modern horror <laughs> fiction? Uh, Claire. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That's correct. <laughs> All right, and that adds 10 more uh, to Mountain View here at the end of the game. And uh, so that, uh, unless we have some challenges, none here, none here. Okay, so at the end of our uh, 3A championship game, it looks like Hassel Fayetteville has come in second with their 145, and Mountain View will be uh, reigning again as the state champions in 3A with their 410. So congratulations to both schools. All right, we're going to go back to Christina. Wow, that's kind of the first matchup where we've seen a real dominant team and get yes. over 400 points. Yes, and that's the first time we've seen 400 points scored today. Wow. Now we've had one team to run the 62nd round and it yeah. wasn't in this game. That means they answered a lot of toss-up questions. <laughs> Mountain View might just be creating a dynasty. Wow. So in 3A, somebody's going to have to step up, and yes. it might very well be Hoss Hall. And they'll have to know they have some tough competition. Yes. Well, we will be right back, but first, let's take a moment to meet some students that we might see on this stage in the future. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. 
Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Try and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association, and we've got awards to give out. Oh, we definitely do. We have a second place, nice trophy here. Also, a check for $1,500 to go to Haas Hall Fayetteville. If I don't jump on the cord, so that's for you. And that one goes on the wall, plus, you get a real one that has actual money. <laughs> so that one will work well. And here, We've got uh, a first place trophy for, uh, let's see, who are you guys? <laughs> oh yeah, Mountain View, <laughs> Mountain View. So you get a trophy, you all get a check to go on the wall, plus a real one for 3,000, and you get a banner, and perfect, perfect. All right, and you're gonna enjoy doing that. Then we have um, MVP, for Claire, that answers everything coming out of her mouth in just a minute, <laughs> and we'll put that somewhere okay. for you. <laughs> not in there. <laughs> okay, perfect. And we have a few more all tournament players uh, from around the state, but we have another one here. Uh, also, Austin from Mountain View is an all tournament player, too. Yes, and uh, your medal is over there. Okay. <laughs> we, we, um, we have Craig Hohen, also from Atkins. Claire, uh, we've already got Claire's. We've got uh, Grace Ashmore from Genoa Central. Tyler Browning from Episcopal Collegiate. Austin McDonald from, uh, let's see, Austin is from Mountain View. Uh, yeah, oh well, we met yours. Never mind, never mind, sorry. <laughs> Eric Wilkins from Haas, Haas Hall Fayetteville. Uh, Neil Sash from Episcopal Collegiate. And Noah Carpenter from Center Point. That's the all tournament team. And uh, your your medal is over there. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to everyone here. And I believe we've had a great day. Let's call it a wrap for this one. Round of applause to everybody. Congratulations, both of you. You guys did a wonderful job. We want to take a moment to thank all the people who have volunteered their time to help with Quiz Bowl this year. This is such a big production, and it takes so many people working behind the scenes to make this happen. So we say thank you to all of you. Okay, that is it for our morning sessions. Join us back here in a little bit for the 6A Quiz Bowl State Championship live right here on Arkansas PBS.